So what we'll do in this series is we'll solve a task because that's what usually developers do. They solve a task. They don't just go around on an API portal and look for what things they can do. No, they usually have a task, they have an idea, and then they try to achieve it as quickly as possible. So that's what we will do today. And we'll see if the API portal, the API will support us by solving this task. So what's our task today? Our task is to print out all the tracks of a Spotify playlist. So we'll review the um, Spotify API today and we'll see if we can achieve that task of printing out the tracks in a Spotify playlist. So let's get right to it and let's get started. So of course we start on the Spotify developer portal. So let's just go Spotify API where we get Spotify API, Spotify for developers. That's where we'll go. Okay, so we have, um, interesting, we have a web API which tells us we have an application and we have Spotify. So that's exactly what we'll want to do. We even have a quick start web API tutorial, which tells us about how to write an application, a web application actually here, or a node application. Yeah, it's a node application with a little server that tells us how to use the API. So that's not bad. That's actually very good. Then we have a couple of guides. <clears throat> Authorization guide. We'll need that probably because we'll need to authorize a user, probably going to use OAuth and uh, it's going to be involved. And we have working with playlists, exactly what we need. Lots of information about Spotify playlists, public, private, collaborative playlists. Uh -huh. Here's what we need. Read a playlist. Get a list of the user's playlist. Sounds about right. List of user's playlist. Endpoint. Yes, that's what we need. Get, and we need this address. So there's a path parameter in here, user ID. The user Spotify user ID. Uh-huh, so what's the Spotify user ID? Is this just my short handle? I click on Spotify user ID to get maybe a sample. Yeah, so that's very good. So there are a couple of parameters. Um, Spotify user ID tells us a little bit about it. It's a unique string about for the Spotify user. And here's an example. So that's a human readable name, the Spotify user ID. And that's probably exactly the name that I signed up with. Okay, so that should be possible. I just put in this name. Um, and so, oh, yeah. If I want to call this endpoint, of course, authorization, I need an OAuth token. And these OAuth tokens need to have specific access rights or scopes. And what I will get back is a playlist object. So this sounds about clear. This sounds very clear on what I need to do here. I have an example of how I can, how I have to think about uh, the result. So now let's, um, I would say, let's get started um, and do some coding. Then we have the URL. Playlist URL with the user ID.
which we call token. Now we need to declare the token. We need to maybe have a little bit better error handling here, but now we have a result and this result is also described on the web page, right? On the web page, we have this result here. So now we can navigate that JSON object called playlists. And what we'll do is we'll navigate to items. Actually a very nice example of how you navigate from one result of an API to the next result, all right? Um, we first got a playlists object and now we navigate from the playlist to a specific playlist object. And you know what we do is we actually do another API call here. Very good. So now we already have the playlist. Now we need to check that playlist endpoint because now we have playlists. How does this help us getting a specific playlist? Yes, and that should be exactly this endpoint. Authorization, query parameter, response format, example. Examples are always good. So let's have a look at these examples. Name of the playlist tracks, array of playlist track objects. Not bad. So we need to get the tracks object. So playlists list dot track dot dot tracks dot track tracks is an array, right? So we probably want to iterate over it. So let's keep it simple and create a printout with just the name of the track for all the tracks in the playlist. So what did we create? We actually accessed two APIs. Um, first is a playlists API to get a number of, of playlists, all the playlists of the user actually, and a second API call that takes a specific playlist, gets a result, and prints out um, each track name of the playlist. Now, why is this interesting? It's, it's a very usual pattern that you get the URL of the next API you want to call from your actual API, right? All right, so what we have achieved so far is that we went through the API portal of Spotify and we have created a simple application that can read playlists and that can, based on this playlist, select the first playlist and for this playlist, print out all the tracks. What's remaining is the authorization. And as experience tells us, authorization is not the easy part. So as we've already advanced in this in this um, review video, I'm gonna show you the authorization for Spotify next week. And next week, we're also gonna put all of this together. So stay tuned for next week. Looking forward to seeing you then. And um, so you don't forget, subscribe now to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.